Before we find out how you voted, let's remind ourselves what went down last night as the top eight slipped on their dancing shoes and hit the floor. The finale's getting close, and that really hit me this week, but we were all in a group practicing, and I looked around and realized that there were, like, only seven other people. The group was so small. We were down to just eight contestants, which meant four couples with two dances each. First on the floor were Danielle and Travis. Putting masks on subtracts from your performance. I really couldn't tell if you were coming or going, but <laughs> I have to say I just love the concept and I love it. One down, one more to go. That one more was the dreaded quick step. Quick step, oh, I can't wait to get it over with. When they were finished dancing, they probably couldn't wait to get the judging over with. Travis, you know the gingerbread man out of Shrek? That sort of <laughs> feel, which it shouldn't be. The movement wasn't very powerful. It was more like dancing by the numbers. Nothing pleases me more than to disagree with these two right here. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, I can't do it this time. <laughs> Dance! <laughs> and two, we got... And Ivan, the Argentine tango. One of our old couples, Alison and Ivan, were reunited. Yeah. <laughs> and Ivan was happy about it. So once again, we pretty much kissing this piece. <laughs> I guess they like that. Away. The first time you guys danced, I said that she worked you all over the floor. You worked her all over the floor. After an impressive tango, Ivan and Allison were hoping the judges wouldn't rain on their hip hop parade. I'm so addicted to her, she's the sweetest drug. Just enough. I thought that was really good. Very beautifully danced. A lot of fun. Was going to be um, singing in the rain. Actually, it was more like bringing out the sunshine. This takes feeling, it takes flow, you know, and, and you guys were just perfect. This is Fabulosa. Fabuloso. This is Fabuloso. Together, Fabulosa. together we are yeah, disco fantastic. <laughs> Under the lights, Natalie and Ryan's costumes certainly sparkled, but for Nigel, their dancing didn't. I thought that you uh, danced a little bit like a wet blanket and the only chemistry I saw was your water putting out her fire. I did not like it at all. Okay. This isn't what I do. I'm a contemporary we'll, dancer. We'll I'm going to have to give it to you. We'll see you in contemporary. I'm see you, Nigel. <laughs> Would what they do best be good enough? I just think you are such a beautiful dancer. Um, you couldn't have asked for a better partner then, to be frank with you. Ryan, you showed there exactly why you're in this competition. I really think you guys came with it that time, and you look beautiful. You really did. I think you guys did a great, great job. Heidi was the last girl to dance, and she was joined by her cousin, Benji. Go, Benji and Heidi. What is my dad holding up? What kind of electric sign? No way. But it wasn't just Benji's dad who was excited to see the cousins dancing. Nigel. Hallelujah! Yeah! I, believe! I believe! I said amen! <laughs> Broadway could use a couple of dancers like you guys. After conquering Broadway, it was time to mambo. I gotta get changed, I gotta get changed. The best dance. There are no two dancers on this show that could have done that number. It was the fastest mambo we have ever seen. This is the most professional looking routine we've seen yeah. the entire season. Oh. In all genres. Every style. But as you know, America, it's not up to the judges, it's down to you. Yeah.